This new feature was another winning submission from our community-driven development track. The request was to better represent the billable status of a ticket without showing that as a physical ticket status. So now we've removed the invoice ticket status altogether and replaced it with this new field here, billing status. This read-only field updates itself all on its own. Since this is a new ticket without any billable items present, the ticket's billing status is flagged as non-billable. Now if I were to add something billable to this ticket, like some labor, you'll now see the status change to invoice required. If I were to delete that labor item, it would automatically change back to non-billable. Now when I go to invoice for this labor, you'll find the billing status changes to invoiced. If I were to add another billable item to this ticket after it was already invoiced, you'll see this value change to partially invoiced, meaning that some of the billables on this ticket were invoiced, while at least one billable item remains. When I proceed to invoice the remaining billables, you'll see the billing status change back to invoiced. We've also made it that you can drill into an invoice and delete a billable item from that invoice, and the ticket is smart enough to pick up this change and adjust its status accordingly. We've also added this as a filter in your saved ticket searches, a sortable column on the tickets list page, and an available condition in ticket automations. So that's our new changes to the ticket billing status, available starting today.